Welcome to Home with Simone. My name is Simone and a huge thank you to everyone that continuously supports my channel. Today we are going to be talking about some of the new things that I got beginning with my Lexar Professional 64 gigabyte SD card and the reason why I got this card is because I got a new camera. So let's jump right into the video. Before we get into the camera, let's look at the tripod that I got. All my items came from Best Buy. The tripod is the Insigna tripod. It is 58 inches it is a lightweight tripod and here are just some of the features and it includes a carrier case and a quick start guide guys this is so sturdy i mean i've been using a ring light on my cell phone so i think anything beside the ring light and the cell phone is going to feel really quality but i'm super happy that i got this stand the bag feels so durable it almost feels like um, that waterproof material which is nice it doesn't seem like it would rip or stress very easily the tripod itself feels so good it's not too heavy it's not too light it's a really nice medium weight it comes with a quick easy setup guide and I'm super happy because I hate reading massive novels to set anything up this is just a close-up to the Exigna. I love how simple this is. There isn't a whole bunch of unnecessary features on here. It's exactly what you need. The height is fantastic. It does go up to 58 inches and it is super smooth. It's not jerky or jolty when you pull it up. It's leveled really well so it doesn't feel uneven when it's at its highest height which sometimes tripods can't. The clasp hair that is used to lock the legs in place when you're changing the height of it is really nice and firm. It's not loose and it's not too stiff and the instructions are so easy, so simple to read. The pictures show every part of the tripod and then it explains how it's used. Guys, here is the camera that I chose. It is the Canon EOS Rebel T7 and I am so excited to share this camera with you guys. Here is some of the contents that the camera comes with or that comes in the kit I should say and um, I don't know a lot about these things so I definitely am going to be doing a lot of YouTubing to see the best features and how to use it and whatnot I did quite a bit of research prior to buying the camera and out of all the cameras that I looked at this was the one that I felt more confident in my ability to be able to use effect effectively and also to give you guys really quality content as a content creator I really appreciate every single one of you that view my channel and invest time in my channel and I want to continue to evolve as a content creator and one of the ways to do that is to ensure that I'm bringing really good clean clear quality content for all of you guys so this is something that I wanted to do I told myself when I got my channel monetized and I've exceeded a set amount of subscribers I was going to reward myself with getting a good camera and so I decided to go ahead and get this camera itself now I don't know a lot about these kind of things like I said before so I actually did a lot of close-ups so anybody that wanted to see or had questions about certain parts of it would have access to that it includes the instruction manual, the registration, and also a quick use guide. The first thing I opened was the strap itself for the camera, and I really liked it. It's a nice thickness, so it's going to be really comfortable around your neck, and it does feel like it's made of really sturdy material, which I like. The straps look really nice and strong. The part that holds the camera, that loops into the side of the camera, and like I said before, the part that goes around your neck, it looks like it's going to be super comfortable. It's not too thick and it's not too skinny. That itself is actually lightweight, so the strap is doesn't add any excess weight to your neck, which is really nice. I so this is the charging dock for the battery. 
And I like that it's just really small and it's flat. It can literally stay in its own little area. And I don't have to worry about constantly trying to find something to plug it into. This is the battery here. I'm just peeling off the covering of it. And it's super simple. Follow the arrows. There's an arrow on the battery, an arrow on the charger. And you just snap it in and let it charge. It does light up when it's charging. It'll say it's either charged or it's fully charged. And then the back of it here is the only part that plugs into the wall. So like I say, you don't have that long cord or you have to look for the cord to plug it in. This is the lens and I really, I thought it was going to be super heavy actually, but it's not. I'm really impressed with how comfortable the lens is. It's not too much weight because I picked up some of the other cameras and they were so heavy and I thought to myself, I don't want to have a super heavy camera, but this one actually felt really good. I'm just spinning it around showing you guys um, the different parts that's on it for any of you that our camera pros are really into this kind of stuff so you can see this part is the part that covers the lens to keep it protected so I just took that off to show you what it looks like it's important to protect your lens so you want to make sure that you are covering it back when the camera is not being used in that way protecting it from getting scratched the back part is what hooks into the camera body itself and I'm just showing you guys here how it looks and um, again Always keep your lens protected by covering everything back, the front and the back of it, if, especially when it's not in use. Here is the camera. It's the Canon EOS Rebel T7. I am super excited to use the camera. I cannot wait. I got as much close-ups as I can on different angles of the camera because guys, like I've been saying, I'm not a pro when it comes to this so I can't really go into all of the specs and describe all of the uses of everything but I did want you guys to get a really good close-up of all the angles so that anything that you may be curious about especially if you have more knowledge than I do on the camera you're actually able to see that footage this is the lens cover I just removed and that's where you actually put the lens itself onto the camera and uh, guys, I thought I like I was so intimidated initially, honestly, because I'm like, oh, my gosh, what am I doing? I don't know if I'm going to do this right. I've never used a professional camera or even a nice camera. I've always just used my cell phone. But don't be intimidated, because if I can use this, trust me anyone else can it is so easy and the instructions the manual makes things so simple it's written in layman's terms so it's not any of these like really elaborate words or anything techy it's just written so the average person can read it and understand it the lens attached really easy and nice and smooth everything's working perfect and I really like that the lens didn't add a lot of weight to the camera itself because when you're when you're holding the camera in the store, it's attached to something else, which makes it feel super heavy. But this is really manageable. And honestly, this is not going to be a camera that I'm going to be using to vlog and to like, you know, go outside and do things with. It's really just to use when I'm doing my DIYs, my home decor my try and hauls, my food, like any of my recipes and things like that. So this is perfect. On the bottom of the camera right here is where you put the SD card and also you use, uh, sorry, not use, also you put the battery there. Super simple. You just pop it open and you'll see the two little slots. And I wanted to give you guys a close up on here so that you can see the inner parts of it really well. There's that top part and you can see the little symbol where you put the SD card and then obviously the part where you put the battery. The battery went in really nice and easy. If you're having a hard time getting it in, don't force it. Take it out and just double check what you're doing because it could very well be upside down. It should literally just snap in with no issues at all. So I've turned on the camera and I want to show you guys what's in the menu. The menu has different headings like the image quality and you can see there's several different uh, things under that heading. Live view shoot, project images, histogram display, auto power off, LCD brightness and 
Wi-Fi. So if you want to enable or disable your Wi-Fi. And this is the button that gives you other options for filming so or taking pictures. There's food, there's sports, there's close-up, there's landscape, there's portrait, creative auto, flash off, lots of different options that's available. I'm super excited to use the camera, guys, and I can't wait to film my first video with it. So I'll see you all in my next video. Yeah.